Well, I've got a young Abby girl coming again this weekend, Rose's granddaughter, and she has to make a um, medieval castle model within A4, within an A3 size. Um, so I decided to get her started by making a wire frame, covering it in paper mache, newspaper and PVA glue, and then we'll get that coated and ready for to build the castle on top of. Okay, there's the base finished off the castle for Abigail this Sunday. We've made the wire and pick and mache surface and just painted across some greens and browns and so on to give the effect of the landscape before we start to think about building up this castle onto it. Well, Abigail's been asked to do a school project and it says parents and uh, friends can assist with this. So uh, she's coming tomorrow. We only have a short part of the Sunday to do this. So I've got ahead of it for her. I'm going to leave a section of everything I'm doing for her to finish off so she will be able to say that she's understood the whole process and has taken part in the whole process. Uh, it's rather fun, Medieval Castle, this, uh, this project, and uh, here, here I show you the picture of uh, what, what we're working from. I started with a base of chicken wire and then covered that in newspaper and glue, in the A glue, and then used ordinary toilet roll tubes and tubes, cardboard tubes, flans the edges so that the edges were opened up and then will stick onto the angle of the um, slope that we've made. I painted the hill afterwards as well with several colours to get the feeling of grass. I'm going to have to go around again now with um, flange the edges of the tube and then flange the edges of the top and turn them over alternately to make a, both a support for the insides and the uh, castellations. Um, of course I'm going to need to put paper mache around the outside of these as well to tie them up again shortly. Uh, and then I've used polystyrene tiles and the edge of the polystyrene tile has a slight buttress here. So I've been able to do that. I haven't finished this off yet. I'm going to sit down leave a part for Abigail to do on every single one. And we've made a draw which here and I'm going to put some string down. Uh, as well as uh, doing double walls here with the thickness in between. And I hope to just burn in or melt into these areas for the castellations. Um, the same across here. We've got little flags we've been making up to go onto here. We've got the fun. These are far too big, of course, but they're just, they're just a lot of fun. And on here, and I think I made the flags a bit too big, so I'm going to have to go back another week. And See here, I've used the polystyrene. I've now got to glue these pieces on and put the pieces in between to get this effect. And I'm going to work into the castellations, I hope. Um, I'm hoping to find a... Um, you know, I'm either going to have to use hot metal for that and just melt in, or I can use... Um, or I can use a soldering iron. You can see how I've used the tubes here and glued them onto the side, the paper mache covered wire frame. We might put some buildings inside here as well. So we have a bit to do yet. Well, we've basically done now, we've got the two uh, keeps and um, the main holes and so on in there. And I've just put paper around to make the joints uh, a lot neater and secure. And I'm going to go around with some filler now and a brush and just try and fill in some of these gaps. And I'm going to come back and uh, try and get these castellations in the outside and I filled the little, little gaps with some filler. Just left areas here for the girl to do tomorrow and I put some little trees in here. I'm going to put some moss on top of these trees like this to make the trees and some moss around the outside later with a bit of silicone. The next two jobs are going to be to paint it but before that I'm going to try a soldering iron and just see if I can melt, it's not quite hot enough yet, but I can melt into the um, polystyrene and just put these castellations in all the way Let's see if this will work. Should be hot enough now. Yeah, that's going to work quite well. Look, work careful. Does that feel very nicely? If we don't go too much. Good. <coughs> there we are, it's all the castellations done. 
Next would be going on to painting little trees and things now, look, using the moss and some sticks and just siliconing them on. And painted up the stone effects. The trees look quite good though. And Abigail can finish all the rest. Now this morning we can see this thing a bit more clearly and we'll have a look, closer look at the uh, drawbridge here. You can see where we've put the cords in and uh, pushed them into the holes and made them black and painted the drawbridge brown but left just the end a bit green just to show the difference between the drawbridge and then these trees we made out of the moss that are quite effective. And this morning preparing for Abigail I've made a cone to go on top of a small tower here painting the tower ready for her and we'll cut the cone to shape and stick on if if we cut uh, flanges here and here the flanges will go onto the base and the flanges pointing inwards hopefully will allow that just to go on top there and we can paint it dark afterwards I'm thinking that's going to go just here It'll be rather effective there I think Gardens. I've taken some rice and some BVA glue and just made lines of rice coming along here to try and make some gardens and we'll paint that all brown and then put the colours over the top for the vegetables afterwards. Right, so our girl is now here. Hello, girl. And she's looking at the castle and she's quite impressed, I think, aren't you? It's fun, yes, isn't it? I am. But Abigail's now going to do a little bit of everything, every single thing that's been done on here, Abigail understands now, we've talked about it. Yeah. And Abigail's now going to put everything together, put this together, finish off a little bit of every technique we've done, so she's a part of it, and go further in the painting and the detail as well. Yeah. So one of the first things we've got to do is get the hot glue going, going. we're going to glue this in, then we've got to cut the slots in the, in the tube here and glue that in, haven't we? Yeah. So let's start with cutting the slots on here. So if you pick that up, that's it, and just, just stay working here, okay, then you might, might get your hands on it. And you want a pair of scissors, which are here. Oh, we've got little flags on yet, look, fun flags, yeah? Yay! Yeah. These, these lovely flags to do. Uh, we think we'll use the smallest ones, so that ones, and yeah. these ones. And we're going to have to cut those out all the way around, don't cut through here, right the way around. Yeah, it's a bit that's over. it, fold, you've got it, folds over onto cocktail sticks, and we glue them on, okay? So that, that's to do at the very end. Yeah. And we've got, they're going to go into the front here, three, and then at the back here, into these bits of polystyrene which you get to yeah. be painted. Right, there's your scissors. So you remember one is longer than the other, so look there, yeah. put the scissors just inside like that. Oh. That's it, and just cut those. It's better when you cut right up into here. So yeah, cut it. Good, that's the way. That's the way, good, okay. Now we're going to test it first, haven't we? So let's see which side is, this is the lower side. So if we're looking in here, the higher side's going to go there. That's perfect, look. Just be pushing it a bit more. Now we want to put glue on the bottom of that, plus just on the edge here so that it glues yeah. against there, okay? So you hold that like that, and I will get the glue. And I'll put it all the way around the bottom. I'm going to hold it down tight for a few minutes. All the way around there. Uh, Plenty of glue. And now it was which side was going against the it was the um it the, this was, side, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was that's that right. Way. So mind your fingers, as well as a hot glue your fingers. No. There we are. Right now, that's got to go in. Well, just it was. here, or you push it down there and push it against here, so it push there and there so that it goes into there. Yeah, that's good. That's it. Right, put the top, put the lid on there. So it's level. That's not level. That is very hot. It's better? Yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You reckon that's alright? Yeah. Not too bad. Now, take out that piece. All put together for you. And what have I got to glue there? I've got to glue here and here, haven't I? Okay? No, no. Yeah. That's no. it. So here we go. My fingers again. Should be alright. And around the base here. Keep still, that's it. Okay, move on. 
cutting right in and pushing against the set of fingers together. That's great. There we are. I think that's all the hot glue we need for the round. Now, how about we do a bit of the tree? Yay! We haven't done the tree yet. Choose a bit of moss like this to go on it. That might be the piece, actually. Put it, put it, push it how many fingers onto it? That's it like that. Don't, okay, top. don't worry about that. That's it, right. Pull it off. It's and stick it on the, on, stick it on the end, the brown downwards. That's it. Let's do that. And then when it, when it finishes, look, you feel that it's gone all... It stays there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. Right. Next job. What's the next job, then? Yeah. I think the castellations, don't you? That's these yeah. pieces in here. Now, we've got, to, we've got to practice on this one. So I'm just going to show you here, just so you get used to it. Give me a little bit of this off, so just so you've got something on it. Put it yes, there. Yeah. So you don't touch any part of this. Yeah. Just here. Okay? I've heard that before. I don't think it's ready yet. It's a bit hotter yet. No, it's not ready yet. So it's starting, look. Yeah. But what we do is just gently press down, ever so gently, yeah. and it'll go. So be careful because you'll go straight down through the whole wall and cut a whole new wall. And all the, all the nasty people will come in. Uh, we don't need to do this side, just this side. Yeah. Put your fingers on it. There we are, look perfect. See? Now, how test it out? So, both hands on there, okay? And just test on there. Here we go. Gently. That's all. See how easy it is? Excellent. Okay, we're going to do it, that's fine. Paint's dropping that one, isn't it? There we go. Can't be too far. I didn't ask for the camera, that's it. All right. That's all right, don't leave that like that. Now, what I want to do now, I've just noticed, is these are a bit pled, aren't they? So, I'm going to just melt these Straight down up. a bit, yeah, I'll just make them into a, a dome shape. Just on the sides bit. Plenty in there, you're not getting enough in. You've got to really, because you're not going to touch the edges if you don't. Don't worry about painting out the tops. I'm going to do that again anyway. Push it you're going to put the brush Yes, there, there, and all around the outside of this and everywhere, yeah. Paint all that in, right, right around the edges. I don't leave any white showing, so right around the edges of it. Fill in yeah. the blob bit. Yeah. Well, rather than go downwards, go upwards like that. And then you want to have all this extra paint here that you don't want because it'll take years to try. Now we're going to paint this grey colour we've mixed in the palette, deep grey on top of the roof and around the edges of the roof. Do Very careful, no, but we're going to be careful going along there. So we'll write this carefully on the edge, that's it. That's right. Come around this side so you can get at it, eh? There you are, you see what you're doing now with the edge of the brush. Oh no, I've got a bit of the palette. That's what I said, you've got to get it right. Don't worry about that, lose it all night, doesn't matter. Great stuff. Done. I just want to do a little bit of that colour onto here again just to match it up a bit more. Right, so that's that dark done, isn't it? Yep. What do you think the next job is? Well, while we're waiting for that to dry, why don't we cut out those flags? Yay! I was just about to get that. Yep. The scissors? Where are the scissors? There. So you cut Which out one? Like the smallest one, so these three and these two. Now, um, let's put that down a moment, and we'll come on that in a minute, just put the scissors up there, just down next to it, that's good. Uh, I want you to, we've made the same grey, but put a bit of white in it to make it a lighter grey. You see how we've got the texture coming here? If we push hard it will coat the whole thing, so very lightly, almost just the weight of the brush, and just to gently bring it up the side of the tower, up like that, okay? So we get the, the stone effect. Right up inside the tower as well, right yeah. down, right, yes, right, right down to the bottom here. Don't, don't know, right to the, right to the edges. So carry on cutting out your um, flags. That's it. Those two flags are ready. Okay, I've got little ones to do as well. Ready for The first thing to do when you've done these is to fold them over, smack on the centre, so that these ends meet like that, and then they're ready to go on the sticks. That's good. Yep, that's good. Should I have it like poking out the top so it looks like? That's the way. Make sure you use your finger now to cut it right down to the edges. Okay, put it to dry then. Colour the right. There, that's it. Okay. So we'll mix a little bit of cream now, yellow and this, this yellow here and white. All these different colours are going to go into the stone on the top of the tower as well, and then into here as well, get it right in there, that's it, and round all the outside here. That's right, drag it right up and across, make sure you don't miss any areas, even though you're going to leave gaps as long as you cover it. So now, in little lines, but missing a few spaces here and there, little little tiles like this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just little dabs in, in sort of broken lines like that. 
Looks much like a fairy tale castle. Looks like a, a, a toadstool now. <laughs> toadstool castle. Yes, could be. Is that done? Right, now from where you are you can reach that, can't you? Do the same. Get some more paint in your brush. Now I just want to experiment this one to say the tower and I think you can see it's not quite working so we'll just get some of that light and instead of going dabs like this we'll use the end of the brush just to make little lines across. That's right, just to get the feel of the ends of the tiles. There we go. Right, next job is we're going to go down to the, the gardens. So I want you to wash that brush quick in the jar, that's it. And see that brown there? Brown in there, yeah. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Mix a good amount on, mix it on your brush. Right, so we're going to paint this garden brown uh, all the way around. So a whole of that, including the rice, is going to be brown, okay? Right, okay. Push it right in, you've got to get lots of paint in your brush. You're going to push it all in there because everything's a little bit brown at the moment. Green at the, at the top, at the, in between, especially because it's in between that matters the most. So get plenty of paint, plenty of paint, and use, use more brown paint. Well, we could speed it up with a hairdryer, but I don't think it'll be that long. Right, so we can let that dry now. So wash the brush, paint this pink purple colour just lightly over the top. In fact, it ought to be white, isn't it? That's right, touch right inside, so don't leave any, any of the big bits of yellow showing without having some pink in it. So even in these bits, you know, absolutely touch, push in with the brush, push in with the brush, absolutely everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're going on to the garden again. That's right, and just drag it right over the tops and make the all the leaves on the on all of those plants. All paint on your brush. Get some from the palette. Go right across the lines of them, don't go in the middles. Carefully, so the tops. Like that. That's it, yeah. Right, next we could have a bit of colour, so we could have a bit of flowers, or we could have a bit of yellow, we could have a bit of red, we could have like tomatoes, so we could, but then tomatoes, like later. tomatoes come later, but uh, <laughs> we could put a little bit of colour in, couldn't we? So yeah. how about a, just a bit of red, um, a, bit, a bit of this yellow, pure, and a tiny bit of white into it, otherwise it doesn't show. Right, you do that on the far right ones. These ones? That's it, yeah, just along the tops of them, there you go. Keep going, a bit more. That's right, a bit more on them. There you go. Now look how different that looks. Yeah, a bit more. Yeah, and way long, that long this end. That's it. Now we're going to repaint some of the greens over the grasses. This is what we do with the purple, but with the green. Yeah. That's right. Across all surfaces. Drag the brush right the way across. That's right. Got to come right round here. Round the tree. No, here, look. Here, around the tree. You haven't finished this bit. Down underneath here more. Don't forget you've got to do the inside as well. Where these windows are, ever so carefully, because you make a mess this, you've got to repaint them. So just make sure they're in the right places. We can start to carefully just paint in the little windows and whatever. Yeah? Yeah. Make sure they're big enough I and mean, thick enough, because you can't see them otherwise. That's it. Very yeah. careful. So you rest your hand like it's I showed you. Trees. Yeah, you're going to, that's right. It's, going to be, it's not really that easy, is it? That's the way. Good girl. We'll turn around the castle to put the flags on. Please, no. You've got to push them right in the same depth at the same angle. Right. Smack in the middle and make it vertical, not at an angle like that. Oh, I'm really nervous. Vertical. This is... Looking good. Okay, just do some touch. So we've got our flags. Now our final decision Maybe. is whether we varnish or not. Oh yes, you want a bit more oh. moss. I just show how to do that again. Bush. So um, stand back and let me show you. So a little bit, decide what you're going to have a bit. So see what a little push here. Just a little bit of silicone. Don't overdo it. Just a okay. small amount of that and you just stick it on like that, okay? okay. But don't overdo it. And a few here and there. Oh, a bit of yeah, you can have some coming down the sides here if you want. Just a little bit, not too much, that's right, and then choose a bit to go on. Yeah, they could be all over, but just to, you know, 
little bit here, a little bit down here. Choose carefully the position of them and make them a nice composition. That's it. A little bit of silicone, not too much, that's it. I want to go with a bit of that sick. moss. There we go. Don't want huge pieces, just small bits yeah. if you need. But yeah. Looks nice. Okay. That's the way, looking good. There we are, we finished the castle. Right, there we go, cameras up there. Yeah. What do you think? You enjoyed that? Yes, you very much. Now? Yeah, it wasn't too much to do, was it? So, yeah. because if we only had the Sunday, I couldn't let you do the whole thing because we'd have never got it finished in one yeah. day. That was plenty of work for you, wasn't it? Yeah. And you've had all the fun bits, the window flags and the gardens and yeah. the, the colours and the textures. Mm. So, next you'll be taking that to school to enter yeah. it. You see what the varnish has done, it's actually the varnish has made it melt slightly, but it's given it quite an interesting texture. Mm. So there we go. And wave goodbye.